about the pros and the cons of having texturized hair because I've gotten so many questions about me texturizing my hair and for me <laughs> there's a lot of pros and cons so I'm just going to get right into it. So one of my biggest pros of having texturized hair is it's text it has texture. Um, and it doesn't have the same exact texture as being natural, but it does have a lot of texture that mimics natural hair. Um, and it is not bone. Two, time. Um, when I was natural, it took me a very long time to do my hair. Um, and now that I've texturized, my hair takes me maybe about an hour, an hour and a half on wash day, as opposed to sometimes it took me my whole day or sometimes it took me about um, four hours. So time tangling is so much easier with having texturized hair. Um, pretty much, I only detangle once a week and that is after I wash my hair. Actually, that is after I deep condition my hair under a steamer, I do detangle it underneath the water. That is the only time I detangle my hair. Now, with texturized hair, it is just as fragile as having natural hair. Um, so you do want to take time with detangling. Um, but detangling is very easy because I get less um, two-strand knots, which is very time-consuming to untangle. Um, another pro is when I am straightening my hair, um, let's say I want to wear my hair flat iron. I don't have to worry about if I step outside, if I go from having sleek straight hair and then going outside and my hair is like an afro. Granted, my hair does puff up when it is humid outside, but... And I'm going to tell you, when I was natural, this is when I was at my wit's end. What having natural hair is I had to go to a conference. And I spent, the day before, I spent so much time washing and straightening my hair. By the time I got to the con conference, I was so self-conscious because my hair frizzed up so bad. It, I had to ask somebody to borrow a ponytail holder. So... I would say that I don't have to worry about that, and if I do, it's kind of like a, uh, gives me a lot of volume kind of puff to my hair when I straighten it. Another pro is sometimes people might think you're natural, um, and I'm not saying in any way do I fake the funk and act like I'm natural, because when I tell people I'm not natural, they are very surprised, um, but a lot of times people will confuse you as another pro is products you have so much versatility for products um now when you are texturized because your hair has so much texture you are going to have to keep your hair very conditioned so the products that you want to use are very heavy products very creamy heavy consistency products but sometimes you can use products that are marketed for relaxed hair so you have the best of both worlds so is that you are able to do long stretches because your new growth and your texturized hair both have texture so sometimes you don't know where the line of demarcation is sometimes you know where the new growth is by just pulling your hair and seeing the difference in the shrinkage um, because you will have more shrinkage um, with your new growth and you'll have less shrinkage with your texturized hair. I stretch my hair every six months. Right now I'm working on a 12 month stretch. Um, so I stretch my hair every six months and stretch long stretches are, they are a breeze because you have Th these two different textures that kind of mimic one another so a lot of products that you will use for your new growth will work with the texturized hair and because you're handling your hair like it is natural what happens is you kind of handle the natural hair and the texturized hair it kind of works very well together another pro is less shrinkage that is 
like my number one pro is less, less shrinkage because you work so hard to maintain and grow out your hair you actually want to see the benefits of your hair and a lot of times when you are natural it's hard to see the growth because it's shrinking up as whereas now I have a lot of shrinkage today and um, the reason why I wore my hair like this is because I did want you guys to see what the actual natural state of my texturized hair looks like um, as you can see Basically, what I did was I had a twist out and I pretty much just wet it. Um, so this is what my texture looks like. This is the natural texture of texturized hair. As you can see, it's extremely kinky. But it doesn't have a lot of shrinkage. Now, my hair is probably shrunken at about 30%, I'd say. So, as you can see, if I stretch my hair, it stretches, but unlike natural hair, when you stretch natural hair, it will spring right back up. If you stretch texturized hair, it'll kind of just stay in that state of where you stretched it. So now that I've told you my pros, let's get into the cons. The number one con is that your hair is now chemically processed, um, which means that you are no longer natural. Your hair is chemically processed. So you have to have, there's a lot more maintenance that goes into having texturized hair. Granted, your time, you spend a lot less time. Granted, your process is less time consuming, but you um, have to take more care of your hair. You have to add more protein to your hair because your hair is reimbursed. Okay, down. so another con is that it's not a quick fix answer, meaning that it's not going to just make your problems of being natural disappear overnight. Actually, a con would be is that you have to maintain it a whole lot more. You have to add a lot more protein into your hair. You have to now follow a schedule, a consistent schedule of texturizing your hair. Another con is that another texturized hair is irreversible, meaning that once you do it, you can't go back. So if you decide to texturize your hair, you want to be very certain that this is a decision that you want because once you do it, you cannot um, go back. Another con is you are you have a lot of risk of damaging your hair. And I was a culprit of damaging my hair the very first time that I texturized my hair. The very first time I texturized my hair, what happened was 75% of my hair actually texturized and then I was left with 25% of my hair that was overprocessed. And to this day I am still working to kind of I'm still working um on that part of my hair. I'll show you guys a picture. So as you can see by the picture, some some of my newly texturized hair, because that's what has grown out between um, the time that I first texturized it and the time of that picture, you see that there's what looks like new growth. That's actually texturized hair. And then from the ends, it's me over processing my texturizer. So you do real you really can risk um you can't really risk over processing your hair if you're not very careful. So when you texturize your hair, you want to be extremely careful. I do have a video on how I texturize my hair. Now, don't worry. This video will give you good results if you follow it step by step. Um, but the first time I texturized my hair, I did my whole head at one time, which was a huge mistake. So if you do texturize your hair, you want to do the half and half method, which is why that part of my hair was over processed and oil up in here still had a ton of texture. Another con is sometimes you miss having relaxed hair, sometimes you miss having natural hair because your hair is kind of con in between. is the natural Nazis will attack you for texturizing your hair. Um, but if you are confident with your decision and you love your hair, that should not make a difference.